DIY Brass Guy here to talk about some alternatives to holding in-person rehearsals. So if you're involved in an ensemble and you're not meeting for right now, here are some things that you can do to effectively learn some music and work on it together. Um, number one is to share audio via online uh, streaming services or, or websites. Uh, or if you own it, you can share MP3s. So sharing music and along with notes, written notes, not musical notes, but handwritten notes from the direct, the musical director of the ensemble can provide some notes. Hey, we're going to take the tempo faster at letter B, or um, you know, notes on on doubling, instrument doubling, any of those kinds of things that you might say in a rehearsal. You can share them via written uh, written notes. There are a few other apps that allow multiple people to be streaming audio and video with with few synchronization issues. I don't think any of them have them worked out altogether. Uh, Zoom has problems with it. Uh, a lot of them that you can't have people in multiple situations all on uh, video streaming and have it be together without any kind of latency. It Technology is not quite there yet, but uh, there's a couple programs that help with that. A technique that, that I think is going to be really helpful and important is guided listening uh, in real time. So several of you get on a, a Zoom call, and then uh, the music director plays a piece of music and stops along the way and points out the important things about, about the, the music, what's going on, gives some kind of context, performance-wise, ensemble-wise, historically, whatever you would like to share with your group about the music. You can still effectively uh, learn about the music and teach about it and get on the same page with what you want to do with it artistically over a Zoom meeting just by listening to some recordings. Obviously, there's plenty of recordings for you to choose from. Find the one that, uh, that has the characteristics that uh, you want to bring out in the music most and then share that with your group. Another thing is producing a recording sort of in a Zoom style where everyone records their part remotely and then one person consolidates those videos and audios, mixes it down, puts it together, and then you have an ensemble recording. It's something, it, it's fun, it's productive, it gives you something tangible uh, at the end of your, uh, your time together for your rehearsal cycle. And if you're not able to have a concert, this will be your final performance. Now, if you are able to have a concert, here's some things that professional ensembles are doing to provide a safe environments for uh, audiences. Um, the main thing they're doing is offering multiple concerts in a series so they can reduce the number of ticket sales and control the number of people in the room for two or three days. So in, if you would normally have a uh, one show on a Saturday night and you'd have 400 people in your auditorium, instead of doing that, you might consider only selling 200 tickets uh, and then offering concerts on Friday and Saturday night. And if you have even a larger ensemble, larger crowds, you might look at offering three shows even. And then it, uh, reducing the number of uh, audience members allowed in the auditorium gives them the opportunity to social distance out in the crowd. So if you're going to do this, you want to make sure that the audience knows that this is what you're doing uh, so that they feel safe coming to your, uh, your ensemble, to your hall, to wherever you're holding the concert. Because it's not just about them being safe, it's also about them feeling safe and understanding that you're going to, going to be taking social distancing precautions. Um, and also, of course, some of the other, there's plenty of other measures that you can do. Uh, offer hand sanitizer, the ushers can pass that out and offer it to people coming in. Um, there's plenty of general types of things. I just wanted to offer some specific methods of, uh, of ways that we can get together and make some music again. Because I know we all miss it. And uh, it's an odd thing this time. We have uh, this thing that is a communal um, endeavor of making music, and we're not able to really get together right now. So um, I hope these help. I hope that you're able to find situations to come back together safely. Um, above all, we want to consider everyone's health and to stay safe out there. So DIY Brass Guy, remember, everyone can make great music.